And now, let's talk about Wildstar. The lads from the original World of Warcraft are back, but this time they've gone to space. So, load your guns, grab your hoverboard, and let's head to Nexus. The sci-fi western is a genre you honestly don't see enough these days, and the people from Carbine Studio seem to agree. Their solution? Nexus. A planet that, just as the name suggests, provides a central conflict point for Carbine Studio's new MMO, Wildstar. It's Han Solo vs. the Empire, or Malcolm Reynolds vs. the Alliance. You choose to play as either the Exiles, a group of rebels, refugees, and mercenaries whose only common trait is that they were driven from their homes, or the Dominion, an intergalactic empire who have a nasty habit of driving people from said homes. The classes follow the traditional trinity of tank, healer, DPS, but with the twists that we are talking cowboys in space here, so that means lots of robots, guns, and flying skateboards are thrown into the mix. In addition to the classes, you choose a path, which can best be described as a playstyle choice. Are you the type who likes to know the lore of a game, read all the books, and know all the hidden references, then Scientist is for you. If, however, you like to help your teammates, and yourself, by improving cities and quest hubs, the Settler is your man. The Explorers, for those who like jumping puzzles from Guild Wars 2, and the hitting things, well, you have soldiers for that. I'm starting to like this place. The paths don't change your character as such, but they do give you extra access to content in each zone of the type that you'd seek out yourself anyway. The first thing you notice about Wildstar, however, is it kind of looks like World of Warcraft. And this is under no circumstance meant as a compliment. In the light of the visual styles from recent MMOs, it seems more like a relic from a decade past than the most interesting MMO released in many years. But that's exactly what it is, and no matter the style, it quickly becomes clear that we're dealing with a game that, at least in terms of craftsmanship, is well above the cut. The game's battle system is frankly revolutionary, and while games like The Age of Conan, Secret World, Guild Wars 2, and even The Elder Scrolls Online all experimented with mobile combat, they all pale in comparison to what Wildstar's cooked up. The Telegraph system. At first glance, it looks like a very basic thing to change, but the results are profound. Without any form of soft or hard targeting options, combat suddenly becomes very gratifying. You really have to keep an eye on your surroundings, all the while lining up your opponent for a hit while avoiding their own counterattacks. Unlike other games, there are no projectiles that suddenly fly around corners. Where many have simply imitated mobile aiming-based combat, Wildstar actually delivers. If an opponent is not within your telegraph when it activates, you won't hit them. Period. The game has a certain level of complexity at its core. Your skills, for example, unlock little at a time, but you always have more to choose from than you have room. This results in a system where you build your character and adapt it to the bosses and opponents you meet along the way. It works really well, and you choose whether to go all out offensive, defensive, or maybe you prefer a hybrid of the two. Back already? And you made friends. Yeah, shut up and kill something. The same thing applies to the crafting system. Rather than simply gathering materials and then building them, the game allows you to combine them in different ways to create new things. The system is complex and even has its own talent tree. It's great to see that you can tune your weapons in order to squeeze more power out of them, or discover new recipes simply by experimenting with the ones you know. You can build everything from weapons, armor, healing gadgets, to furniture. The latter might stand out a little from what you'd normally expect, but since Wildstar has player housing, you can become a carpenter if your heart so desires. A group of players can even go as far as to group up and build a fort complete with guns and all the trimmings, at which point you find other people's forts, complete with their guns and all their trimmings. On paper, Wildstar does look a lot like any MMO you've ever seen before. Monsters stand around waiting in the normal theme park session for their beating, and you gain levels, collect rewards, and tackle instances and battle bosses. It's all been seen before, and for many it may seem somewhat uninspired, but after having played it, you quickly realise just how much has changed. There are a myriad of small refinements that add up to create a game that, more than anything else, is fun. The combat is amazing, your character feels, partly due to the many customization options, both for apparel and abilities, entirely your own, and once you're past the low levels, it quickly becomes quite challenging. So, when all is said and done, the worst thing you can say about Wildstar right now is that we have to wait until July to play it. And there you have it. So what do you reckon? 
Tell us your thoughts down below. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.